that uh, Navi also have to deal with. But then they don't have enough to play against this. Iceberg onto the high ground. Immediately gonna get stunned up by mid one. And they just jump on top of him and take him down. The Doom is out. Not even a chance to pop his BKB as Thompson comes forward. Looking for the plus one. Trying to bring down the Pangalarian. Should be able to do exactly that. Jumping on, feeling that Earth Spirit form. Getting on top of Vichu once again. Vichu trying to turn around Thompson. for Thompson. Thompson needs to back himself away. He could be in some trouble. Once again, getting punished for this overextension. But they can't actually get through in time. He's too damn tanky. And now they're turning on to Vichu. Vichu's gonna die instead. And that is four heroes dead on the side of Navi. OG, don't lose. A single that is it. hero and a celebratory Seb Black Hole. Ooh, they get they don't strength. make the jump though, not yet. They're waiting, and now they jump in. Doom comes down onto the Omni Knight. They managed to get that Heavenly Grace user, but who the else can, can they find as they drop the black hole onto both of the cores? It's already cancelled. Does look like it comes in just in the last second. Iceberg's still alive, but might just get down for the right clicks. No, nope, he's still okay. Meanwhile, General just comes bowling ball through. Enigma and Sven just completely controlled. They could have the damage, but no, they turn around onto the Pangolier. Pangolier is going to lose his life. Meanwhile, Mid One gets himself away, but they're actually out of heroes on the side of Navi. Everyone just gets taken down as the split fight does not go Navi's way. Beechun will just try to leave. Topson trying to find him, stealing that Earth Spirit form. He found him. Trying to track down Beechun and might have just found him here. <laughs> Continuing the chase. It's this Arcane Rune Earth Spirit form is insane. <laughs> oh, God. Get me just, out. What is this? Why she just rolled around like this and found the Spectre? My infinite rolls. What the hell? And now they find him. Fichune. He does not know what just happened to him, but he's going to get his axe scrambled up in the top lane as they will lose. And uh, this was a new record on the nullifier, by the way, as expected. Uh, in the mid bottom lane, AA Blast coming through onto the Morphling. He could be in some trouble. They have got that Doom available, but Iceberg doesn't want to pop it down onto Heavenly Grace target, so he's got to hold off for the time being. And now the Horn comes through. They've killed off always want to fly. Moving across, looking towards Roger as well as the roll comes sliding on through. Doesn't connect onto anybody, but they're going to try and drop the Spectre. Doom comes down on Tim. Heavenly Grace is thrown down, but V Tune and Iceberg just wailing away at the beast. Can they bring him down? They need that nullifier to break through the Guardian Angel, and they don't have it right now, so they've got to try and get themselves away. V Tune gets the Fest off inside of Iceberg Kid. They're trying to run themselves down inside that Doom. Always want to fly. Has bought back into this one. Needs to be careful not to give his life away for a second time. They do need that blast to try and make Hobson something happen. And Saxon sees the target. Jumping across the side, but here comes the arena. They're going to try and bring down the Omni Light. They will be able to do so. Step in trouble as well. They get the secondary kill. Meanwhile, Thompson just trying to get his right clicks off onto Iceberg. See if he can bring down the Doom. Might be able to do exactly that. They interrupt it up, but the Doom's going to turn around, get the Infernal Blade, but it doesn't matter. Thompson kills him. And now Thompson's in trouble. He pops. He's gone. And now Lifestealer. Well, he's being torn apart by mid one and Saxon already. He's actually tearing through Saxa instead. The brawl continues as Saxa goes down. Featuring just trying to bring down Always Wanna Fly. Will be able to do that, but now the non fires on top of him trying to go for the TP out. Featuring does not have a cancel for it. And just the two carries will be left alive. And they can <laughs> double shadow step from Morphling and Spectre. They can go that on to the mad. same target. Two heroes, global teleportation onto your face. They could have done this all game as well, and they go into general. General looking for the backlands here, as once again we have that shadow step forward from the side of mid one, and then they go with the arena onto the backlands. Want to try and take down Seb? Can they bring down the dark series of question? A blast's gonna come through, but will not land. But it's not needed anyway. They get the kill, and now they look for the omni knight. The strike team of the backlands from Navi is effective, and they will take down another. But Navi tunes in trouble. He gets taken down. Too much damage. Doesn't have buyback. buyback on the life dealer. Uh oh, that's a problem. Saxa getting sat on by Liceberg, but Iceberg actually needs to go here as mid one's on top. Gets a blink away, going for the TP out. Shouldn't take too much damage. He gets his way back into the fountain. But where is the buyback on the life stealer? Looks like he bought out for maybe a bash. Like that stage, uh, that stage is uh, pretty much always just a losing battle. Uh, uh, Sven versus uh, Spectre, unless there are other elements. But uh, it's going to be initiation I on the mid. Oh, they dropped the rock. They're going to turn around with the horn. The dragon as well. So they snipe one out. Oh, Spirit is down, but Hanskin's going to die. Does so up damage? The limp is also going to fall. Metal Bond's just doing too much work. They'll turn around the duel on the FNG. Get three for the price of one and another duel with this one feeling a little bit more worthwhile for Liquid. Already any way you can help yourself against the Eva. Maybe There's this board. Uh oh. Xenia. Ah. But yes, another one. Soon I will be able to finger that exact same target. Every fight. Oh, 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 Foxy. He's gonna go for the denial. The duel's gonna come out. There's gonna be a horn. Exo gets thrown out, though. They do bring down the Sven. Fly back out from the wall. Look at right into the fight. Lance gets thrown about, but Magic Eating Targets can't offset it a little bit. Storm Spirit needs to retreat for the moment. BK dances around the dispersion damage being spread out. Monster, though. Blood right. Trying to turn this around, but S4 realizes that there's too much damage. He chases deep at BK. Just killing them through his defenses at this rate. Moon away. He will finally die on the side. But the price for Alliance. Everyone wipe. Just to get a kill on that spectre. 
and burst hero, so you can rotate mid. And uh, now there's the butterfly onto Mikke. It is gonna Strength. be an initiation here. This Just might be one really this. good opportunity to kill the Spectre. Yep. He's all alone, no one to help him. It's gonna be full on and in and out, but it's too late. They've already lost the Spectre. Eel's gonna be there, Jewel's gonna come out, but Spence does BKB run, so he doesn't really care. Gonna They're gonna stand the ground. Foxy almost gives over the Jewel damage. Won't in the end, but Limp gets a double kill. He's finally getting some change in his pocket. They're gonna chase forward 100 for more quick, but hit up by the Rupture. Nice battle way to save the day right as it ends, though. Tiger. Doesn't look like he's gonna make it out himself, but he gets the important one out. They at least keep Quick for a lot. The price might be high though. With this Exo, they should look to try and pressure on the high ground. It's coming to an end with a warlock of all here. Holy face, I am definitely seem to have went the way of Liquid, I'd say. Yeah, it, it, they definitely did. I, I think this event he got the really short end. Fuel, straight away. In and Limp is gone. Five backs gonna come out. He's got the Exo's TP in the cross right now. S force is staying on the front line. DK. Get out, it's a little bit deep. He has got his BKB. If he's gonna come out, from Tigers goes in deep. They force out the beginning. Olympus chase for the EXO. He could be able to size stun. Not gonna be brought down. He's dead. 85 seconds without the spend. They don't even care about the magic community. Limp chased on two next, eats the cheese, but this is gonna be his dieback. They're not leaving him without the kill. And he knows that he's gonna fall. 115 seconds about your TP. The only one they can't find in the end is S4. But now with the creep wave slowly on his way in. You know that Liquid are just going to try and eradicate this base. It'd be very easy to relocate into this though, I think. Uh, it, it might become a little bit hard. Too predictable. They jump in first, the stun comes out, Limp. He's activated that BKB, finally gets it off, but the damage is too high. The BK chase it forward, the Reckless of Poiper might just be enough to bring him down. Lena dead. And the Lions try with a backstab from Terrorize, pushing them away, splitting off Hanskin from his reload target. He's going to be left alone. The other side of the map is a fight here. S4 being brought low and down. The obviously, Slash doing a lot of work, but Tiger will fall now. Un up against the outside of the wall was good enough to bring down Nico, baby. Quick was still hunting for looking for more. The buyback was used by Limp. Won't have to die for this, but when there's two dragons, there's a rule here. One has to die, and it's going to be FNG again. As he gets picked off, they'll return to the pit. Another good team fight for Team Liquid, and Alliance just running out of tools at their disposal to fight back. Oh, well, just have Tiger pumping him. Ready to screw the mess? Oh no! He whiffed. Well, did he? Actually, he whiffed the stun on the side on purpose. He didn't actually want to jump in, but they used the stone gaze to resolve because they thought someone else was coming. The problem is with the range, they're just going to lose Jakiro. He made a puddle on the side, but there's a bigger whoopsie made by Alliance in general. Now they're going to move in. Stun's going to come on the hands, can terrorize, flying through the hold on to it instead. Arena is good enough to get one kill, force the buyback out of the IO, and then the buyback straight away from S4 as well. They're up against the ropes, they need some for Godly here, and they're running out of builds to throw at them, but the final one's gonna fall. Mega creeps, and it might be the game. Juggernaut stunned up for a long time, looking to move in. Obviously, that's gonna come out. They'll just stack together though. Willow will hide because she's the monster step, but will die in the end, but it's only one dead. LSA's is gonna come out, looking at the shotgun to try and get Juicer down. They haven't even got through the mana though. Nico Baby is just gonna be ran down and killed off alongside S4. They'll chase down Hanskin, they'll team wipe Alliance, and they'll get the GG out as Liquid finally gets some points in this group stage to get their first win. In this yeah, uh, I like the way Liquid played this, these, these games, uh, especially this one. Their, their draft was just for Mag to kill Kuro, and now in the late game, it's like saving that Chronosphere for Miracle when they need it. A save, gonna get jumped on, but the turnaround immediately comes out. Elias is there with the extra AoE damage. Kuro tries to save the day, but it's not gonna be good enough. They took down both cores already, chased down for more as they are gonna beat the crap out of my control and take his life as well. Now also has backtracked because that seems fair. Jump in, oh, Chrono nice. catches on to three. Epileptic gets stolen, Chrono. Is it gonna matter though? They don't have the damage there for the follow-up. Unbelievable performance here from Virtus Pro as they're gonna take another set of racks. Okay, well, they don't take the tier three tower, but it doesn't look like BP Carol that much. Yeah, GBK jumps forward, gets the pullback behind the tower, find the bash onto Kuro and find that final touch for the kill. An epileptic kid has enraged back up again with overpower. They kill him off. Virtus Pro just absolutely smashing Enigma here. They look so freaking good. They really do. Just super solid decision making. I, I look back towards when they just didn't fight that tier one mid versus the timber. And I think that just speaks a lot of this game. 
Where, much like last game, BP identified exactly what Nigma needed because they had such a narrow window that uh, was required for victory. And both mm -hmm. times now, they just look at it and say, like, yeah, we're just not going to give you that very specific thing you need. And we're kind of good. Oh, nice Yules, though. Oh, well played. Still has that Abyssal Blade afterwards. As well as BKB if they need it. Taunted. Left it again. Pops the BKB. Kills off that egg. They're going to kill Kuro. Buys back on Kuro. Miracle just trying to run out of the base at this point.